Well, again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 30th of January, 2019. You know, I always wondered what happened between President Donald J. Trump and Chris Christie. Chris Christie seemed to be like a rising star within the Trump organization. And all of a sudden, gone. Just read an interesting article written by Devin Cole at C-O-L-E of CNN, published on the 30th of January, 2019, titled, Chris Christie says Kushner's father committed one of the most loathsome, disgusting crimes he prosecuted. There's an embedded video you might want to take a look at. Former New York Governor Chris Christie said that one of the most loathsome, disgusting crimes he prosecuted more than a decade ago when he was a U.S. attorney was committed by the father of President Donald Trump's son-in-law and top advisor, Jared Kushner. Christie, who chaired Trump's transition team for the short time, has recently been drawing attention to his relationship with Kushner and his father, the real estate developer Charles Kushner, while prompting and promoting his new book, quote, Let Me Finish, end of quote. According to excerpts of the book reported by Axios and The Guardian, Christie claims that the younger Kushner was behind his departure from Trump's inner circle after the 2016 election, writing that he was, quote, still apparently seething over events that had occurred a decade ago, end of quote. In an interview with PBS's Margaret Hoover on, quote, Firing Line, released Tuesday, Christie unloads on the senior Kushner and the crimes that he prosecuted him for. A couple of embedded videos. Would you separate your experience if your father had been put in jail from the prosecutor who put him in jail, Hoover asked, quote, if my father is guilty, I would, Mr. Kushner pled guilty. He admitted the crimes, Christie said. And so what am I supposed to do as a prosecutor? I mean, if the guy hires a prostitute to seduce his brother-in-law and videotapes it and then sends the videotape to his sister to attempt to intimidate her from testifying before a grand jury, do I really need any more justification than that? I mean, it's one of the most loathsome, disgusting crimes that I prosecuted when I was U.S. Attorney. And I was a U.S. Attorney in New Jersey, Margaret, so we had some loathsome and disgusting crimes going on there. Well, you still do. Christie was referring to the elaborate revenge plot that the older Kushner hatched in 2003 in order to target his brother-in-law, William Schudler, a former employee turned witness for federal prosecutors in their case against Kushner, who was under investigation at the time for making illegal campaign contributions. As part of the plot, Kushner hired a prostitute to lure Schuder into having sex in a Bridgewater, New Jersey motel room as a hidden camera rolled. A tape of the encounter was then sent to Kushner's sister and Schuder's wife, Esther. Ultimately, the intimidation stunt failed. The Schuller's brought the video to prosecutors who tracked down the call girl and threatened her with arrest. She promptly turned on Kushner. In a plea deal negotiated by Christie, Kushner pleaded guilty to 16 counts of tax evasion, one count of retaining against, retaliating against the federal witness, his brother-in-law, and another account of lying to the Federal Elections Commission. Now, you sort of have to ask yourself a question. Might that explain why Trump turned his back on Chris Christie? You also want to take a look at another link I'm going to attach, and uh, this is the uh, father-in-law of Chelsea Clinton, Edward Minsky. Edward Minsky was a uh, congressman from 73 until 77. And then uh, he pleaded guilty to uh, 31 charges of felony fraud, served five years in federal prison. <laughs> you know, what was interesting is that uh, Billy Bob never went ahead and pardoned him. You think that he might have done that, huh? Are you sort of getting that picture? They're all dirtbags. 
And Kushner and his papa, they were whacked out Democrats. I think they still are. The whole family of Trump couldn't even vote for him in the primaries because they were registered Democrats. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to attach the links. You take a look at what's going on with uh, Edward Wazinski and watch the embedded videos. I think you're going to find them interesting. Kushner, chief prosecutor. Like I said, the guy's so stupid, he doesn't even understand that the Saudi prince, Mohammed bin Salman, would cut his head off and think nothing of it. It is what it is. Those that follow the letter of the Quran follow the letter of the Quran. Top advisor. What a joke. The whole thing is nuts. You know what I think. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. You might want to send a copy to Jared. Thanks for listening.